Morning, everyone. The President has what I would call an interesting schedule for the day. He goes to Cleveland, Ohio, where he will make what is billed as a major speech on the economy. We have some advance word on what it will contain, and believe me, it's nothing really new. No new initiatives, no change in course, no change in policy. Of course, how could it be? If the President were to suddenly change course, that would be an admission that the first three years of his administration were failed policies. If you've got to change course, clearly you've failed in the past. He's not going to do that. He's going to double down more government spending, essentially, will be the message. That's Cleveland. That's about 2 o'clock Eastern time this afternoon. Then it's on to New York, and the President visits the home of Sarah Jessica Parker, and he will hold a fundraiser there. Heaven knows how many thousands of dollars it is per plate, but essentially, the President is again reaching out to, tapping the money of, rich female celebrities. He will also get some money out of Anna Wintour, the woman who is the most extraordinary elitist, and by all accounts, an absolute monster at work. But no, the President will tap these people for money. It's a very interesting schedule, isn't it? On the one hand, the economy is clearly weakening after three years of failed policies from the president, and he will outline nothing new in Cleveland. But what is new, he then goes to New York City to take money from the rich, the very people that he wants to tax even more. It's a very strange day, isn't it? A very strange political campaign. But we'll be covering it, and you'll be watching it, I'm sure. Three hours from now, Varney and Company begins. We hope you're there.